everybody, we're back. Welcome back to Balcony Bros. Hey guys. This is your boy, Einhander. This is uh, the Juicy J. The J. Uh, Three guys. That's, that's magical. So, we're back. I'm using a different controller. There was actually a long odyssey of getting this shit figured out to get us back to this point. It's the first controller we tried. <clears throat> I mean, it's the first one we started with. The first of like four. Yeah. We have four controllers sitting on the desk right now. None of them worked. So, I know I was just doing this yesterday. I don't really remember where I am. We got the speed booster with various suit. This orange goodness. Um, now I believe we need to go to the wrecked ship. Oh, we have speed boosters, so we can get down some hallways that we couldn't get down before. Yes. Speed booster school. <clears throat> Run, Forrest, run. The power run. Boop. Gotta go fast. I do like this controller. The D-pad's really poppy. It's better than most of the uh, the USB type things I've used. Honestly, better than that blue one I was using. It ought to be for, for everybody out there in the TV land. It is a Logitech... Uh, 710. There you go. <clears throat> oh, oh, wait. There were missiles over there. The wireless one. Oh, we have to come at that from the bottom, though. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you do. Girl. Ooh, girl. <clears throat> girl. Okay, it's not that door. That goes to a little, like, bug shooter thing. Shoot your bugs. Shoot your mama's bug. Man. Well, Look at that lava dude. Do you see him down there? He's all like, man. Yeah, he's down there creeping. Yeah, this is his little teeth. Man. The dude needs a dental point. Oh, shit. He's coming to get me. <laughs> So long, dental plan. Oh, Lisa needs Shh. braces. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> Please forgive Einhanda. He's bad at this game. We're bad at all games. That's the theme here. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, not like abysmal. No, I mean, I think we're... You will Watch see it. us shine more in, like, adventure-type things where there is problem-solving required. When it comes to reflexes and shit, oh boy. <clears throat> we are damn near a busy... No, not a busy. We are smart, we are not skillful, and I think I'm just going, like, back along the path I was going on before. I don't think I'm getting to where I need to be. Oh boy. <laughs> what? See, what's I'm not, what, I'm not what, sure where you're supposed to, like... I, I'm not sure what the po fucking point yeah. is. Yeah, look at the machines. <laughs> but look at the machines. Like somebody, somebody built little like piston spikes. Just <laughs> who fucking installed that shit? Long running theme warfare. in my questioning of uh, video games, but again, well, I liked God of War. They kind of addressed that. The big spooky temple for Pandora's box that you spend most of your time in. They actually introduce you to the architect. <clears throat> Have you played God of War? I tried. I didn't like it. Ah. Well, there's a part you have to get into Pandora's temple to get Pandora's box to get the power of the gods so you can fight Ares. And um, the gods actually commissioned a mortal man to design it. And you kind of... <clears throat> you find signs of him throughout the whole thing and how he basically... The whole thing ends up killing his family... Like, he loses his family, his home, his livelihood, everything to this temple in service of the gods. And then in the last room, you find his dead corpse. Which I guess is kind of redundant. See, I like that. Um, my problem with God of War was I got stuck at a boss fight that had an unskippable cutscene. Oh. Yeah, no, so every, uh, every attempt I just got to spend... Which boss fight? Probably something that's going to get me made fun of. I'm not real sure, but I think it was like Harpies or something. God. Okay, I... Wait, Harpies? Or something. You were on like a cliff. It was before like some major turning point in the game where you like moved on. Uh, it was a big ass, really long, really annoying cutscene that after like three times, I didn't want to see anymore. It's been a long time since I've played God of War. I'm trying to remember. There was... Oh, okay. At the end. Everybody that's played it, fucking back me up on this okay when you're in the underworld and you're trying to climb up those goddamn pillars there's these pillars you have to climb uh kratos is such a badass that he he dies and he gets sent to the underworld and he climbs the fuck out of it 
Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, he's a hard dude. And, uh, yeah, did y'all like that skill? I know exactly where that shit was. What's up? <laughs> um, but, um, there's this part you have to climb out of the underworld, and there's these pillars that you have to climb that have, like, these rotating blades. They're, the pillars are rotating while you're climbing up them. It is probably the most frustrating thing I have ever done in a video game. Even more that than, I've actually completed. Even more than the hundred steps without a lightning strike in Final Fantasy VIII? I don't think I did that. I did it. I don't know why I did it. That that required that yeah. built so much patience. Jesus. <clears throat> See, but this was like you had to do this to progress in the main story. This I've never been quest. about those. Like here, do this a thousand times. The uh, the Luigi purple coin challenge. I've never even heard of that. It's like impossible. What what game? Uh. It's I mean, got, I mean, it's a Luigi game. I'm pretty sure it's, um... Mario's missing. <laughs> typing tutor. <laughs> no. <laughs> fucking, um, Mavis Beacon teaches typing. We're gonna do that one on the channel real soon. I hope you guys strap in. That's gonna be an 80-part series. That's all we're doing at the time. Um, I'm gonna feel real dumb if you can just bomb your way down to this. I'm gonna feel fucking stupid. Oh, boy. Hey, everybody! That's the sound of him <laughs> feeling dumb. I could have sworn you had to get to this from underneath it. Nope. How long did that take? That took, uh, seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes. Welcome to our 130-part series of... Yeah, no, I'm good at this game. Remember? I'm good at this. This is me being good. Well... I will play Mega Man X on this channel someday, and people are going to get to see me be good. Yeah. No, you guys, he's serious about this. Like, okay. Mega Man X is his deal. No, let me tell you. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm pitching a fight. You know, I'm, I'm the promoter. Mega Man X is his thing. Like, he thought he was good at it when he was a kid. Notice I used the word thought because he spent his childhood playing it. And then we watched Awesome Games Done Quick, and we watched somebody speed run it. <clears throat> I started drinking. He started drinking. Well, that's not weird. He started uh, drinking more. <laughs> that is not true. He drinks a lot of booze. One day we'll get up a picture of the dry bar behind us. You leave. You leave. <laughs> no, man. Somebody at work might see this. Oh, God. We love you. We do. You I'm are an cut that out. awesome person. Please get that out. Well, now you might leave Why am I going in here? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing in the least. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where I need to go now. Oh, I need to go back up here and I need to go down that hallway we couldn't get down before because I need the power bombs so we can go back up through the freaky red part of Brinstar and get back up to the surface where the crashed ship is. See, I like it. Hey, wait, I didn't, I didn't finish the story. Um, okay, so... Mega Man X was his deal, and he watched a speedrunner do it and instantly felt shitty about his performance, like a dude that drives like one of them big jacked up pickup trucks. And so, <clears throat> now he has made it his personal mission for you guys. He is going to practice Mega Man X for weeks until he is just infinitely badass at it, and then we're going to play it don't, on the channel. Don't say that. Okay. Well. Good enough to beat it. Yeah, I guess beating it is... It's a hard game. I'm not going to sit here and say I can't even beat a single fucking level of any Mega Man game. I was good at it. As a kid, I was the kid that the people would hand the controller off to beat the bosses. Oh, I fucked. I didn't fuck it. Not that that's saying that much in the broad scheme of skill at that particular game, because that game's hard. But I was better than my contemporaries at the time. And for somebody that didn't ever own a Nintendo console, pretty fucking good. Do you know how long it took me to figure that out? That little drop down right there. Ice Beam? Yeah, man, Ice Beam. The iconic Super Metroid Beam. I thought it was too early for that. I'm probably still thinking um, the Game Boy Advance games. Yeah, yeah, Ice Beam became one of those things that got turned into like a superpower as far as the Metroid series is concerned. Because it's fucking cool. There are parts of this game where I turn it off. Because what it does, especially after you get the plasma beam, um, shooting something with the ice beam freezes it, right? And then you have to shoot it again to kill it. Mm -hmm. 
if you have just the plasma wave and or no, just the plasma and wave beams on, um, it only takes one hit to kill a lot of stuff. So. There are actually portions of this game where I will turn it off because it makes shit take longer. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All, I was like, man, you're making that look pretty good. Oh. Yeah, then I fucked it up. If I'm ever doing good, wait. <laughs> oh, you bastard. You're getting bombed. Yeah, motherfucker. Motherfucker. No, I fired up Mega Man X and, like, died in the tutorial, like, opening level and was like, what the fuck? It was, it was, I was just like, it was like getting on a bike and realizing you didn't know how to ride it anymore. It was disheartening. Oh, speaking of disheartening, we're gonna go hit a save chamber. Oh, is it getting close to that time again? It's not getting close to that time, but, uh, it might be getting close to the time where I mysteriously die of my own soul. Oh, bastard. <laughs> oh, now I gotta, God damn it. It's like Castlevania. No. Nope. You want to save? Nope. Okay, well, this room's done forever then. It's a zero or a one. It can't. <laughs> yeah. Did save chamber activate? Yes, no. Yes? Okay, then save chamber will never activate again until you reload the room. Which I guess is for the best. Because it would be annoying if it asked you that every time you accidentally stepped into the room. It makes the coding a lot simpler, I would imagine. Actually, I think it would be simpler to just have it trigger that event every time you touched the thing. Are your pixels inside these pixels? Trigger save event. Yeah, well, no, that's true. I mean, not that any of that is particularly complicated to code, but, you know. Coding? That's cool. I know, I know as much about coding as I do, like, the workings of atoms. Which is to say a basic understanding. I'm I know the very, very basic fundamentals of, like, logic statements. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I can kinda, sorta... dingle something out in, um... PHP, which is not technically a coding language, it's a scripting language. Although, if you were to pin me down and ask me what the difference between coding and scripting is, I could not tell you. I, I wouldn't blame you. Ne never been my bag. I know a little bit of PHP, and I know a I know more SQL than PHP, but again, SQL is not even... I wouldn't even call that any kind of coding or scripting language. That's a database talking to language. Anybody out there that's watching this that can like sit down at a computer and write a program to do a thing? Dude, you are smart. Yeah, I want to buy you a drink at a bar because you deserve it. Let me shake your hand. Yeah. Let me suck your dick. No. no. Now, man. You suck dick. You suck dick. Well, I mean, somebody's got to because, I mean, it's not happening right now. Man, that is not true. Uh, fucking Elon Musk. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I was about to say Elon Musk. I might suck Elon Musk. Dude. That's a good story. It'd be like, would you suck Obama's dick? Hell yeah. That's a fucking good ass story. Who was saying that? Was that uh, Pendulet? Yeah, Pendulet was saying I'd I'd suck the president's dick. I'd have yeah. I'd, I'd I'm have... not gay, but I'd do it for the story. Yeah. No, hey, you got a foot. You oh, you fucking went to Mount Everest. Yeah. Well, I had sex with the president. I sucked the president's. Dick. Eat my ass. You got a one up for anything ever. I had eat sex my with ass. Him. I ate the president's. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I just found the title of this episode. <laughs> eat the president's ass. <laughs> eat my ass. I eat the president's ass. <laughs> that might not fit on the card. But we're gonna... Ooh, I put up thumbnails, by the way. Have you seen did the thumbnails? Really I know. did, really. I didn't know you were going to work on that. I, was I didn't know either. And then I got a wild hair up my ass and was like, I'm going to do this. Man, you got to watch it with those rabbits. You know, it was not until someone actually explained to me that it was H-A-R-E that I fully understood that, because I always thought it was H-A-I-R. <laughs> I was like, do you just have, like, a wayward curly down there <laughs> fucking... in the butthole and just, ooh, it's itching, I gotta go do something. <laughs> like, fucking toe, legs up in the air, legs akimbo, scraping your ass on the ground like a dog. Now, Whoa, man, what I got is, ingrown hair. What, what is... Okay. Those are ground vaginas? Well, no, the controller was having a damn... Uh, no, I thought we were something. talking about the big pulsating ground vaginas. Oh, no, those are those are horrifying. Also, they do a shitload of damage if they get a hold of you. Yeah, they vaginas do that. On. They'll take uh, everything in your wallet and more. Your house, your car. That was my favorite quote from... Uh, I, I think it was Blade uh, 2. 
Yeah, Blade 2. Like, it's the power of the vagina, man. You gotta watch that thing. One hair off of it could pull a freight train up a mountain. Anyway, that jazzy little tone in the background tells me that it's time to end this episode. So when we come back, we're gonna go use these bitchin' little power bombs we got to blow a hole in the crust and go fuck up a spaceship. We'll see you guys when we get back. Alright, everybody. Later. Bye.